Do you have a senior walker fisher to preview the 2007 2018-19 uh, Concordia wrestling season and uh, uh, as far as you walker you've you've wrestled now for for three different head coaches uh, even though you, you've gone through kind of those transitions, what would you say has maybe been the common denominator as far as what, what, what's made this a special place uh, to be a part of and a special program to be a part of? Um, I'd say that um, throughout all of it, um, we've had kind of a, a dynasty or um, been a very, um, a very good program. Um, even last year we took a few lumps, but uh, I think we also handed out quite a few. I think we are still a very dominant program, which has been something that um, is very attractive um, when you're trying to think of where you want to wrestle. So, How about maybe the, some of the relationships that, that you've developed? I, I think when you're in the room with, with the yeah. same guys every day, that's kind of a big part of it too, right? Yeah, that's huge. Uh, I would I could personally say that probably every guy in there I would consider like a brother or family. Um, I think I have really close ties with just about everybody and I feel like I could go to about anybody for anything or they could come to me. Or that's the attitude we like to have anyways. Obviously everyone in the program has, has known Coach Calhoun, who's, who's now the head coach. What are the biggest strengths you've seen in him as, as a coach? Um, well, he's kind of a smart aleck, but uh, kind of opens up and uh, lets us feel more comfortable around him, which uh, definitely helps um, take a little pressure off the athlete, I think. Um, also, I feel like he's done a very good job of listening kind of to what some of our uh, upperclassmen want out of practice. I guess having three different coaches, we've seen a lot. So I, I guess I could say, I'd, I'd like to say I know uh, or have a good feeling of some things that work well in the room and he's been very open to Kind of any ideas so well for you personally you went uh, from from 13 wins as a sophomore to 25 as a, a junior last year what were some of the factors that that have led to your improvement um biggest one and i'm still working on it, is definitely uh is confidence um as a sophomore i kind of was just thrown in felt, well, i i would just kind of threw myself into the fire and um i wasn't wasn't confident in my abilities really stepping out. I knew I, I knew I was a decent wrestler, but um, in any of those tight matches, uh, I tend to usually fall on the shorter end of the stick sophomore year, and I think junior year is where I first started to turn that around. I'd get into a tight match, and I was confident that that's where I would succeed and get a lot of wins. If you notice, like most of my wins last year weren't by many points, but I think that was kind of the breaking point. So. Well, you placed fifth in the G Pack uh, at the tournament. Uh, you mentioned confidence being something that's that's kind of been improving for you. What other things does it take for you to kind of get over the hump? And I'm sure you'd like to to make a nationals yeah. push this year. What's it going to take to to make it there? Yeah. So obviously, still a lot of that is confidence. Uh, I don't know. I tend to bite the bullet a little bit and fall under pressure, but. Um, also, I think a big thing is just trying to stay healthy this year. Um, I know it's it's not uh, capable to be 100% all the time, but I think that um, with the right training and stuff, hopefully come regionals time, I just need to peak a little later in the season. I feel like I've been peaking earlier on in the season and not being able to hold that. So. Well, how meaningful would that be to reach nationals your senior year? Oh, that. That's uh, definitely, that's that's the goal. I got to start with that. I think I'm capable of being All-American, um, but it definitely holds a little place in my heart. Uh, in state, I never even meddled in state. And so I think that's kind of the reason I went into collegiate wrestling um, to try and prove something for myself because I felt like I fell short in high school. So now I have to kind of combat that. Well, I, I know uh, someone that you competed with or as a teammate, Saran Francisco, was back on, on campus not too long ago and he was a part of that, that senior class that accomplished a lot here. Uh, what's it like for you seeing Saran just competing on a, a national level and then having him come back here? Uh, it's inspiring. Uh, I mean, I personally don't have any aspirations of 
going, competing beyond the collegiate level, but um, I think he sheds a lot of light, even on guys like me, to to still reach out and try and make or grow the sport of wrestling. And whether that be in coaching or wherever my path takes me, I still it's inspiring to think that uh, wrestling can be a part of my life, um, well beyond the sport in college. Well, as we mentioned, Coach Calhoun has, has been in the program. Uh, so in terms of, of practice and, and training, getting ready for this season, how much different has it been, or has it really just been a continuation of, of, of what you guys have been doing the last few years? Um, things are different, I, I would say in a good way. Um, it's hard to explain really what all changes, um, but in terms of like practice structure, I just feel um, as we're getting a little closer to competition, it's a lot more of just getting in and getting out. Um, we're not spending a lot of time uh, at, in a really slow pace. Everything's high pace and it allows us to get out of the room a little earlier, which mentally is kind of a break on yourself, um, which is very nice. Well, this program had three qualifiers at Nationals last year, and I'm sure you guys are hoping to kind of bump that number up a little bit. Uh, what have you noticed about just the competitive level in, in the room and, and how that might be able to shake out uh, as you look forward uh, towards February and March? Yeah, uh, I think a big thing is um, a lot of our underclassmen and freshmen um, have really been stepping up, and a lot of the times your freshmen come in and they're kind of bashful or holding back and I feel like um, they all understand that they're a pretty big part in what we're trying to do and whether that is get guys to nationals that we have a lot of them scrapping and putting in the work that um, is going to help even if they're not on varsity help um, the starters get to that spot. Well, you still have this full season, senior season left. Uh, what are some of the, the lessons though that you've learned through through Concordia wrestling and, and the sport that you think will carry on through your the rest of your life? Uh, I mean, biggest one, I think definitely is that uh, hard work can kind of get you anywhere you want. Um, a lot of things aren't given to you, and um, not to put this on myself, but like I said, I came in as a freshman year, I think pretty much as a roster filler, and um, kind of just honed in and put in some work and it turned out and now I've been a three-time varsity or will hopefully soon to be a three-time varsity wrestler um, which I think just goes to show that um, if you really do work hard a lot of things pay off in your favor. Is it kind of weird maybe being the, the older guy, the senior now? I mean, how do you uh, maybe embrace a, a leadership role on this team? Yeah, it's still, still a little weird. Um, Fortunately, uh, last couple, uh, definitely last year, I kind of fell into a leadership position, so um, it's not like a brand new experience, but I would say one thing that is nice um, is this year, we're not really, we don't have assigned leaders. Um, it's just kind of expecting um, some of our upperclassmen and the people that want to get better and make impacts in the room to kind of step up and be their own leader, and the team should follow suit. So. Um, it's taking a lot of pressure off that leadership role. Um, and we'll end on this. What's the best thing about being a wrestler and what's the worst thing? <laughs> oh, worst thing's easy. I would say that's got to be losing all the weight. Um, cutting weight isn't fun. But um, best thing is I've narrowed down to either uh, my relationship, the relationships I've built and all the people I've met, and then, of course, winning is awesome, so being able to knock out a few wins always helps.